Good morning, friends, and greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number 844-236-6010. 844 We'll get your calls here in our second segment. we got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Julia Shopik. She's been on the program before. She's a uh, a healthcare blogger. She's got a book called Honest Medicine, and she's got some really interesting strategies for dealing with pain and, for that matter, dealing with liver disease and dealing with cancer. We're going to talk to Dr. or to Julia Shopik about low dose naltrexone, about keto, the ketogenic diet, and also about alpha lipoic acid. That'll be coming up at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls here in our second segment, 844 236 If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, the longevity products, skincare, if you have a, a, a problem about a question about ingredients or something you don't understand about ingredients or formulations, we can help you. 844 236 Of course, if you just want to contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or join the Brightside Ben team. Please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or you can head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or you can go to brightsideben.com and sign up right from the websites, or you can also purchase products right, right, right from the websites as well. And of course, if you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we'll get your calls here in our next segment. If you've got questions or comments or success story, 844-236-6010 is our number. Continuing on with the stress response, emotional and mental stress response and its relationship, relationship to, to a lack of ease, which we also call dis-ease. I love that word, dis-ease. Everything we need to know about how to reverse dis-ease is in the word, dis-ease. To reverse dis-ease, you gotta get back to ease. It's right there in the word, you guys. Last we spoke, we were talking about the fear response, this idea of mind controlling the body, of the mind's impact on the body is so, so important. If we are going to free ourselves from a predatory medical model that pretends to be healthcare, that pretends to be about health, but more often than not drugs us up so bad and, and picks our pockets and hacks us up and numbs us out, hides our symptoms so much that we don't even know what the heck's going on with our bodies. Francis Bacon, it was the uh, father of science, Francis Bacon 500 years ago said, medicine as a science is more professed than labored, meaning medicine as a science is more talked about than in actuality. Medicine's not a science, medicine's about magic. When it comes to healing, when it comes to our health, there's two approaches you could take. One is the magical approach, using these magical substances, magical cures, going to magicians who will magically cure us. Doctors hate it when somebody says the word cure. 
Only doctors get to cure because they're the magicians. The other way of healing the body is scientific, using logic and troubleshooting. Your doctor practices magic. He makes pronouncements. He names conditions. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz couldn't give the scarecrow a brain, but he could give him a diploma. That's, he gave him a degree. Back where I come from, we can't give you a brain, but we can give you a degree. In the same way, medicine is magical. It's about naming things. It's about cures or pretend cures, which it accomplishes by hiding symptoms, by removing organs. I have a friend. She's going in to get her uterus ablated tomorrow. Yes, she called me up. She wants to know how she could help heal from this ablation. She has endometriosis, right? Horrible, horrible, painful condition that women go through when their estrogen is off, when they're eating the wrong kinds of foods, when they're not processing fats, when they have a sugar problem. So instead of the doctor troubleshooting and working backwards to this blood sugar system, to the digestive system, to bile, and to the liver, these are all the places you want to work if you're dealing with female reproductive issues, he's going to destroy the uterus. He's going to call it an ablation. That's a destruction of the uterus. This is how medicine works. What we talk about today and every day on the bright side is about troubleshooting. It's engineering. It's how you work backwards if you have a computer problem or a television problem or a car problem. You work backwards. You troubleshoot. You look for the causes. Our symptoms are like the warning light on our car that goes off when our engine fails. The bright side philosophy, what you hear every day on this program, is about checking the engine. When the engine light goes on, medicine is about disconnecting the wires, which makes more sense. If you have a chronic degenerative disease of any kind, that is a health issue that's get, that gets worse and not better, that's what a chronic degenerative disease is, and you want to address it scientifically, uh, if you want to address it magically, go to your doctor, and he'll take out an organ, or he'll poison your, uh, your body's ability to clear out bone. That's what Fosamax is. Or he'll poison the blood pressure system to lower the blood pressure system, uh, blood pressure system to lower the blood pressure. If you want to address it scientifically, you go to the triangle of disease. No matter what your health challenge is, you work on your digestive system, you stabilize the blood sugar system, you make sure you oxygenate the system, and then you address mental and emotional aspects. The mind is primal to the body. The mind controls the body. Eventually, the body's going to work backwards to the mind, but to start, the mind controls the body. So we have to understand how to work mentally and emotionally. We've been bamboozled into believing that we have to go to the doctor. It sounds silly. Oh, you're going to use mind control. You're going to use your emotions. How silly. If you're dealing with a CDD, a chronic degenerative disease, and you think this is silly, and you think this is too simple to be true, you're going to be depriving yourself of a very powerful healing strategy. Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain something to a six-year-old, you didn't understand it yourself. And if your doctor can't explain to you the direct cause of your illness, or if he blames your genes or your bacteria and says, you'll just have to be on this drug forever, or we're just going to have to ablate your uterus or ablate your heart, or we're going to have to take out an organ, then he doesn't understand what the, how the body works. And that's the last person you want to be going to to, to get health advice from. So to cut to the chase, CDD, chronic degenerative, chronic degenerative diseases, show up when the body is chronically assaulted by toxicity, mostly food and digestion related, in an environment of low blood oxygen, hypoxia, and micronutrient starvation, period. The mental and emotional component fit in because they represent toxicity, and they represent malnutrition because they suppress our ability to utilize nutrients. They suppress our ability to process food. Mental and emotional components, the mental and emotional component of disease fits in because it changes the way blood is perfused, blood is circulated around the body, and that leads to low blood oxygen, and this causes us to burn through nutrients. If you have weight gain issues, if you have insomnia issues, if you have skin issues, if you have any health issues that are not improving, people, please understand we have control. Healthcare is our business. Healthcare is not medicine. Medicine cannot help us with health. Medicine can only hide our symptoms so we look healthy. It can only doctor us. If we don't recognize the importance of all the basic, basic ways we are complicit in our diseases, we lose our power. When it comes to the fear response and its relationship to disease, this is the mind-body link. It's called psychosomatic. Psycho meaning mind Somatic meaning body. On this program, as, as well as other health and nutrition shows, sometimes we forget this, this very important relationship between psycho and soma, between mind and body. I'm guilty of it too sometimes. Certainly other, other uh, nutrition and alternative programs are guilty of it, and your doctor is way guilty of it. 
There's other, sure, deficiencies are important. Nutritional deficiencies are definitely important, but we gotta exploit and leverage. On the bright side, we will talk to Julia Shopik about her book, Honest Medicine. At the bottom of the hour, we'll talk about something called Low Dose Now Trexone for pain. We'll talk a little alpha lipoic acid, one of my all-time favorite supplements. Great for the skin, by the way, alpha lipoic acid. And then, uh, and then we'll also talk about the ketogenic diet. You know, people talk paleo all the time, but paleo is kind of a marketing word marketing phrase, marketing term, paleolithic diet. Nobody eats paleolithically unless they're, unless they're ripping the leg off the antelope while it's still squirming and roasting the leg on the fire and eating it fresh. Don't mean to be gross, but that's what paleo is. Paleo isn't coconut flour, paleo macaroons. I, I'm not kidding you, I saw paleo macaroons the other day. Anyway, we'll talk uh, to Julie Shopik at the bottom of the hour, and we'll get your phone calls here in just a minute. A couple more things I want to say. I, I don't mean to you know, belabor this point, but it's just so darn fundamental, this mind-body link. And we lose our power when we don't recognize it. We're taught to, to marginalize it. We're, we're not taught to respect the power of our mind and the power of our thoughts and our feelings, yet we know biochemically every time we think a thought. Our body changes via the activity of hormones. Hormones are the link between our mind and our body and our feeling and there's and our, uh, our mind and our feelings and our body. And every time we think a thought or feel a feeling, we're either making a healing hormone or a disease hormone. It's a pretty much as simple as that. Chronic degenerative disease only shows up when there is an excess of disease hormones, which are intimately connected to the thoughts we think, the feelings we feel, as well as the foods we eat. There's the three major control points, you guys, of our hormones and then our health. The three major control points of our hormones are our foods, our thoughts, and our feelings. You could throw in oxygenation in there as well. When I talk about the triangle of disease, the, blood sugar, the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the, the oxygenation system, or the adrenal thyroid system, you can call it. I'm really talking about hormones. Hormones are the link between our thoughts and feelings, our foods, our, our oxygen levels, and the way our body shows up. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about hormones, and, uh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just continue talking about hormone health tomorrow. I don't want to talk too much more about this whole mind-body link, but we will talk about some nutritional supplements that you can use to improve brain health, brain function, and that you can use to reduce the stress response. We'll do that tomorrow as we continue talking hormones and the skin on the bright side. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Bunny in Michigan from yesterday. What's up, Bunny? Um, I was talking to you yesterday about the joint disintegration that I'm having in my body, and you started to tell me supplements. We ran out of time. Okay. So I just so, need to know the path of uh, the supplement. I don't want to. Okay, go, I, I'll, I'll answer that question in a second, but I don't want to mislead you or anyone else into saying you just have a supplement problem. We're clear on that, right? Right. It's not just. Okay, good. As long as we're clear on that. I hate being the kind of nutritionist that just says, take this vitamin or this mineral to take care of your illness. It doesn't work that way. That having been said, there's lots you can do nutritionally. Okay. Number one, for blood supply, magnesium is a very important vasodilator. It opens up blood vessels and magnesium deficiencies are very common. Make sure you're using 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day. You can get that from the osteo FX. Uh, okay. You can also, uh, vegetables, green vegetables are your best sources, of, best uh, food sources of magnesium. Lots and lots of greens, always. Okay. Veggies in general, but greens especially. Uh, vitamin C is the quintessential healing vitamin. You want it, you're going to get that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but you'd probably be wise to take extra. Don't take it too fast or too much, at a, uh, too much all at once. You'll get crampy, and that's not good. So divide the doses on the vitamin C. Vitamin E is, is also... Vitamin C? How much thousand is that? To, you can take as much as you want. You can stick oh, okay. it right in your veins if you want, but, but 1,000 to 2,000, up to 10,000 milligrams a day. Okay. Okay? Vitamin okay. E, 400 international units a day. That's your very, very important healing vitamin, as is vitamin D. Make sure you're getting out in the sun to get your vitamin D. Also using essential fatty acids, very important for, the, for blood supply and also for healing. Vascular necrosis, which is, I believe, what you were talking about the other day yes. or yesterday, yes. is, a, is a blood condition. You're not getting vascular, meaning it's avascular, actually, meaning you're not getting blood to the bone or to the tissue, and it's dying. 
Okay. Uh, oxygenation is the key to getting enough, uh, to opening up the blood vessels, to delivering nutrients and delivering blood to the tissue. Breathe.